So today I want to talk about value propositions and a lesson I learned this week. And uh, the lesson became more magnified when I decided to research the history of pizza in the United States. So I was in a training this week with a gentleman that, so I took this, this uh, leadership training, and there was a gentleman there who was the former founder of a famous pizza uh, restaurant. Uh, not mentioning the name, but he, he was a founder. He sold his interest, and now he's an investor. Uh, we got to discussing his pizza restaurant, and he wanted to get away from the idea that we just sell pizza to something different. And I thought, that's interesting to me. The different value propositions associated with pizza. So I started researching that um, to discover, you know, just what was the different value propositions when it comes to pizza. And as it turns out, there's quite a few. Now, the fascinating thing was that three of the biggest pizza restaurant, pizza chains, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, and Domino's, all started at roughly the same time, between 1959 and 1960. Uh, all three of those, and they're the largest today, those three all started at the same time. What's interesting is that when they started, the pizza business was not that big. Not that many people bought pizza at a restaurant and not that many people bought pizza takeout. So this was a new market. And these three chains created that market. It's now billions of dollars a year in pizza sales when back then it was hardly that at all. But each of them had a different proposition. Pizza Hut wanted to create a family-friendly restaurant environment where people could come and eat pizza. Uh, Little Caesars wanted to create a hot and ready, fast, low-cost pizza so people could uh, eat pizza cheap, have it fast, and have it hot and ready. Domino's wanted to maximize people's desires to order pizza and have it delivered to them. So all three of those value propositions were completely different, and all three of them required the pizza chains to focus on completely different things. What's interesting is all three of them were equally successful. All three of them had great growth, and all three of them had unique and very special innovations in their particular area. For example, Little Caesars was the first ever to do that little conveyor belt pizza. You know, when you put the pizza in, it goes through a conveyor belt, gets warmed up, and comes out the other side. That was unique to Little Caesars. So it's interesting how their value proposition is what drove their behavior. And that's where it hit me really hard, is I think about my value proposition and what I want to do as a person or in my companies or whatever I'm trying to do, I want to think about very carefully what is my value proposition. Because if I don't really understand that, I'm not really going to be able to work on the right innovations for my customer. So that was my thought on my history of pizza lesson.